know what come into my channel and while i'm doing the introduction let me just say this my quality is looking a little off not as clear and hd as my previous vlogs and videos it's because my camera broke. Unfortunately, my camera broke about a month and a half ago, so I haven't been able to use it. And I'm always feeling some type of way whenever I have to go back to my phone to record, just because of the fact I haven't really used my phone to record anything on YouTube live since I first started YouTube, roughly six to seven years ago. So yeah, I feel like I'm a little too bougie for my iPhone now. <laughs> Even though I got an iPhone 11 Pro Max, but that still ain't the best out as of now. So being that my camera is broke, I'm not sure when I'll get another one. So with that being said, you guys are just gonna have to get used to it looking the way it is now. Hopefully it is clear enough for you guys to still enjoy my videos. <laughs> Nevertheless, getting back into this vlog, today is December the 20th, 2022, and we have exactly five more days until Christmas, yes. And I just feel like I have so much to catch you guys up on without saying a little too much of my business, but just know what I thought would be the suckiest holiday for my baby's first Christmas turned out to be the greatest one yet and this is only her first one i'm going to tell and show you guys in a little bit just to sum it up let's just say your girl has had some of the roughest moments these past couple weeks this past month and it was to the point where as a mother i didn't feel like i would be able to provide for my baby as much as i wanted to of course you know she has her dad her grandmother her aunts and uncles and other family members but when it comes to the mom with me holding that title i just I feel like if anything, if, if anybody, I'm the one that needs to go above and beyond. And if you're a mom, hopefully you understand where I'm trying to come from. And you know, I know we're all not perfect. However, it's like when you have a little one depending on you, you feel like you need to be. And speaking of her, y'all, she is literally beside me getting into stuff she ain't got no business doing. Say hey! And I'm not sure if I told you guys, but my baby is now a crawling baby. Even though it seemed like it took ages, but she is now crawling and literally into every and anything. It's like, why did I look into this moment? Like, if she be doing the most and she's just crawling i don't even ima want to imagine what she gonna be up to when she start walking which by the way she is starting to pull up on things as well for instance now she's trying to pull up on me look at her say hey Booker. say hey you want mommy hug you <laughs> okay okay all right y'all Dakota has definitely turned into a spoiled baby. And I guess I have nobody to blame. You see how the, you see how fake that was just now? <laughs> she has her jacket and stuff on because we just got back in from going out. So let me go ahead and take that off because I do have the heater on. So we gonna get nice and cozy. Her beanie is so cute. Uh -uh, don't do that. Just cause you see mommy messing with it don't mean you take it off, okay? No. I mean, we at home, but honestly, I gotta redo her hair, so <laughs> we're just gonna leave it all for the meantime until I switch to her bonnet. But anywho, just getting back to what I was saying earlier, y'all, this is gonna be one of the greatest Christmas that Dakota has experienced, and again, I know this is only her first one. Literally, there's nothing else that she can need at this point, and I'm gonna show you guys why. And this is the reason why Dakota has packages next to packages boxes on top of boxes she has so many things from clothes toys hygiene care diaper wear like this girl at this point i feel like don't need nothing else like her birthday is next month her first birthday is next month and it's just like out of all these things what exactly do i want to get her like if you just look from this angle all of her gifts are like almost to the door sooner or later i'm not gonna even gonna be able to get out my own house i literally take a trip to our locker room where we get our mail every freaking day and i'm so grateful and while i am showcasing this portion of the video i just want to make sure i take the time out to Thank everybody. And you guys know who you are if you're watching this video. Thousands of people, probably more than that, who have reached out to me 
contribute to my daughter's first Christmas, even those who are generous enough to contribute gifts to me. I just wanna say you guys are definitely appreciated and I know I've stated it already, but I just can't thank you guys enough for making this moment so special for me and my baby. And I'm just really overwhelmed, even those who didn't send things through the mail. And you may have either just gave me words of wisdom or sent me donato. Like I really appreciate each and every one of you guys and I'm forever grateful. Most of y'all know I'm a PK, so I try to stay prayed up every day. I thank God for what he's done, what he's doing, and what he's going to do. He may not come when you want him, but listen, y'all, I promise he really does come right on time. And the time was now. The time was these past two weeks where I've just been getting blessings on top of blessings on top of blessings. And again, I'm just so very thankful. So yeah, y'all, that about sums up my little testimony on what's been happening. Christmas is my favorite holiday of the year. And honestly, you guys, since my dad passed, I feel like holidays hasn't really been the same because he was always, again, big on birthdays, big on holidays, except Halloween, of course. <laughs> But Christmas for sure, and it's like since he's been gone, as of last year was the first Christmas without him, I just felt like Christmas wasn't gonna be the same. But this Christmas does seem like it's sparking just a tad bit. I'm not gonna say I'm all the way where I used to be, <laughs> but being that I have a baby now, I'm hoping that it does get back to that point because I wanna be able to let her witness and experience what I did with my household, my parents and siblings as I grew up during the Christmas time and other holidays. And speaking of Christmas, if you guys are OGs, as I normally say when I'm about to bring something up that you probably seen before or heard of, you guys know, look at Dakota back there. I told y'all, this girl be into everything. <laughs> Dakota. Nothing is in that bottle, y'all, don't worry. But back to what I was saying, every year on Christmas Eve, our family does Christmas brunch and a Christmas pajama party. And then on Christmas Day, we do Secret Santa, where we change gifts with whoever name we draw. And that's just for the adults. Now, as far as the kids, they usually expect everybody to get something for the kids being that you know of course they're kids like that's the only way i mean that's the only good reason they have they don't have jobs they can't go get in a car and drive nowhere to get anything for us so i leave the toys for their parents to get my sister and brother and gadgets electronics or whatever while everybody else could get them clothes or a toy as well but not as many so I opted out to get my nephew's clothes, which I just had delivered today from H&M. So I'm gonna be opening that up in a few to see, but it's not like I have any boxes to put them in or wrapping paper yet. So if anything, before this weekend, because Christmas Eve and Christmas Day does fall on a Friday, on a Saturday and Sunday, I'm gonna definitely have to go out before then to get some boxes just so I can put their stuff in. So yeah, that's on my agenda. As of now, y'all, this is, oh my gosh, I am so thankful. <laughs> but my kitchen look a hot mess. <laughs> While I'm thinking about it, I'ma post a picture of what the car was looking like when I had a lot of these boxes in the car, transferring it from the locker room to my place. Like Dakota was back there with the CEO of Amazon himself. That's how packed the whip was. Why do babies have their most fun with everything but their toys? question any answers. I want y'all to take a look at my baby's outfit. So swaggy in a way, representing Sesame Street. She has on the vans that I showed in a previous vlog with the beanie to match. And then this is the back of it. It's just so cute. And she has been real in love with Irma lately. What? You wanna need no mommy book? Hmm. Say hey, yeah. <laughs> what? You think somebody playing with you? Yeah. <laughs> Mwah, I love you. You love mommy? Mm. Mwah, I love you. Uh, uh, don't pull my hair. Uh. Oh, yeah, y'all. It just reminded me. I know y'all probably say it. Wait, I know the main teeth I see in her mouth. Yes, y'all, Dakota has now two bottom teeth. So, since the last video, she's been crawling. She been pulling up and she now has two small bottom teeth. So yeah, y'all, my baby is growing. <laughs> my baby is growing. Oh, my, 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 my. 
Oh, and also she has enough hair where I can put more than just four pigtails. So shout out to God. Because as you know, as a mom, a girl mom at that, I want to make sure my baby girl hair stay slick. Just watch it, y'all. Watch it. See what I'm saying? Sometimes I come in here to use the bathroom and I have her in here with me, or I'm just simply taking a shower and this is what she does. As you can see, she keeps herself busy and wide open 24 seven. Mm -hmm. Tell them what you're doing. Hmm? All right, y'all, so I done wind down, gave my baby her bath, and now it's time for a good old midnight treat. It was either between a Krispy Kreme donut or a yogurt bar, and honestly, I might still do that yogurt bar. It's not like I'm being sponsored by Krispy Kreme or anything, and by the time this video goes out, these flavors will probably be done with, because these are limited due to the holidays. I'm gonna post a picture of when I first got them done and fresh. Oh my God, they look so good. Follow me on Instagram, which by the way, if you're not, Follow your girl at Kiana J. You probably already seen me post it, but they have the nicest flavor ever this season. I've never in my life seen someone do a red velvet donut, and that donut was so good. They also have a sugar cookie one, which is the one with the green stuff on it. That one honestly was not all that. I did not like it. But that cake batter one though, oh my God. That one was probably the best out of them all. And then of course, this one, which is what I'm eating now, but this is something they have all the time so i'm just gonna eat this strawberry glazed one with the sprinkles and then like i said i might eat another one i might eat that santa belly or at least half of it i ain't gonna lie i really want a yogurt bar as well but i'm trying not to eat too many sweets but what the heck i don't even treat myself enough to eat sweets so one night shouldn't hurt in the meantime we got cold over here crying i had to put that little girl in her playpen y'all because she is doing the most as i stated earlier I'm gonna see if she gonna take a bite of my donut though. What's up? Uh-uh. No son? No, don't touch. Just bite. 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 Don't like it? All right, y'all, I ain't even gonna waste no more time with her. <laughs> she don't need this no way, which is why momentarily I'm gonna be feeding her these little smoothies, sippy cup thingies. She loves these things and that's what I'm gonna get her. But right now, bon appetit, let me eat. <laughs> hey y'all, it's the next day. I was trying to talk to y'all while the light was red but it just turned green so i'm gonna try to be quick because i try to be super careful with my baby in the car with me and you guys know again i am on my phone for now as far as recording wise but yeah me and dakota had to step out because i have three places i need to go to today and let me turn this heat down because y'all it's i'm burning up already but yeah i got three places i need to go to today and the first one I'm going to is Walmart because I want to get this cute sweater made um, or sweatshirt wise that I want to wear for Christmas since I didn't have time to order anything. And what I'm looking to get kind of goes hands in, hand in hand on what Dakota will be wearing this Christmas. So I'm just going to Walmart to see if I can find me a sweatshirt to do so. And then after that, I need to head out to Dollar Tree because I need to buy gift boxes for my nephew things. And then it was like one other place I needed to go to that I could not think of. Oh yeah, I need to make a trip back to the Outlets Mall because that's where I'm supposed to be planning on getting my shirt design slash made. And they said I can do it same day. So I'm just trying to go ahead and kick everything off now so I won't be last minute. So yeah, off the Wally World. All right, made it to Wally World. Y'all, I cannot remember the last time I actually stepped foot into Walmart. I've lately just been going to Publix and Harris Teeter when it comes to my groceries. And if only those two stores had an apparel section inside, I definitely would not be here right now. But yeah, I gotta get my baby out. 
got her stroller right beside me y'all it's a lot of work <laughs> with going places knowing your little one has to follow right up behind you it's like i don't even remember being able to go out by myself anymore but let me get my baby and what do you know she sleep but i did just feed her a bottle right before we left the crib so that explains why I'm coming into the locker room to get some more packages. Like I said, it's a trip here every day. And off gate, this is mine. As well as this whole portion here, except that bottom one. So I gotta try to take this whole thing over to my car. And unfortunately, I left Dakota's, Dakota's stroller in there, but I'm gonna definitely have to turn it around. To go get it because ain't nobody gonna make more than three trips You home, girl. You gonna help mommy unload the car? This girl literally just not waking up, y'all, from the first trip at Walmart. We've been out for almost maybe an hour and 15 minutes. <sighs> Let me hurry up and get her in the house. It's getting cold. <laughs> so we just made it in the house, and I wanted to show you guys Dakota's little outfit for today. So this is her outfit. She has on a two-piece Minnie and Daisy fit beanie. Same one that she had yesterday, just a beige color. And then she has on these little slides here that was popular. And I think I had every color when I was in middle school. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys her outfit. Just turn Mickey Mouse on to occupy her time. I'm gonna get at y'all in a little bit right now. I'm gonna take these clothes off because I'm hot. So yeah, we finna get comfortable. I gotta clean up, show you guys what I got my nephews and pack that at the same time. And then your girl gonna try to eat something because I'm hungry as well. You clapping because you heard mommy said she was gonna cook. Huh? So this is my little meal for tonight. I've been eating a lot of salmon lately, especially since I've been making it with this sauce. This is a honey garlic sauce that I'm literally obsessed with now. And then I just have a leftover half of a sushi roll from yesterday that I got from Publix that I didn't finish. And then to top it off, I have some Panera broccoli cheddar soup. Y'all, this soup is so good. I recently had my wisdom teeth pulled, by the way. So, of course, the only thing I could eat was soft foods. And let me just say, this is like my third bowl getting because it's that good. And I think I'm almost at the two-week mark now where I can go back to eating normal. But listen, we already in the winter season, so it's going to be suitable either or. And then over here, I have Dakota's little plate. I have her some salmon. I didn't put a glaze on it though because her doctor says that babies can't have honey until they're one. So she just has some plain seasoned up salmon. And then I also have her some smushed up mangoes and blueberries. So hopefully she eats, cause honestly she's been a little picky lately and she think somebody just gonna be feeding her sweet stuff all the time but no baby you gotta get your protein too and your veggies so i'm about to go sit over there and enjoy our dinner <music> Y'all, 
y'all good morning i didn't have a chance last night to get to the part where i was going to show you guys me packing my nephew's presents but i am going to do that today i just made me a bowl of oatmeal i haven't ate yet and it's already going on almost one o'clock so dakota is right here next to me leaning up <laughs> by my knee I think she see this bowl in my hand, so she thinks she's gonna get some. I might get her a little bite just to see if she'll eat it. You want mommy to pick you up, don't you? Nappy head. Gotta do that baby hair over. Y'all, does this look the same or does it look more full? Because definitely boxes has been added towards the end. And I just got a notification not too long ago that says I got more packages in the mail. And as I stated, we getting super close to the door. <laughs> and already Dakota has made her way crawling towards it. So she literally slid this from over there to over here. And it's like, girl, what are you trying to do? Don't be trying to peep until the day comes. All right, y'all. So actually my sister-in-law just called because she was debating on whether or not she wanted me to do her lashes. And this is Tatum's mom. So she said she's literally two minutes away because she's just not seeing my ticks saying that I said she can come. So I'm gonna finish eating my oatmeal, do her lashes, and then I'll proceed with what I said I was going to do. <laughs> left about almost an hour and a half ago and honestly i don't think i'm gonna even have time to do what i said i was going to do just put my nephew stuff together because i got some other stuff i need to do as well as take another trip to the mail room <laughs> but also my mom is on her way here shortly because she want me to glue this wig down her head so one thing about family y'all they're gonna ask you to do stuff last minute so <laughs> while i wait on her I'm gonna eat my leftover salmon I made yesterday and then I made this delicious broccoli just now. I seasoned it real good and then I cooked it with some Parmesan cheese. So it's a cheesy little nice broccoli salmon meal. Poda, I went ahead and took her hair out because I just got tired of looking at it. So it's really just sticking out there. But I do plan to wash and do her hair probably on tomorrow because that's the same day I plan on doing mine too. Because quite honestly, I'm sick of this wig and I have an Instagram reel. I gotta do for Toyo Tress hair. So the perfect time to install it would be for the holidays and that's what I'm gonna do. But for now, I can tell your girl gonna eat. So yeah, toodles. it up just so it can stretch out a little more i probably won't actually do my hair into the morning just so it can be extra fresh and let me just say it's the length for me my hair has really grown it's always nice to see my growth after wearing doo-doo braids under a wig for like three months <laughs> But yeah, I just had my DoorDash deliver. I got some Caribbean Hut, which is a Jamaican restaurant that you guys will see shortly. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and try to take Dakota's bath, wash her hair, and then I'll probably do her hair first thing in the morning as well. And then after that, your girl gotta take another trip to the mail room. Again, that's just gonna be an ongoing process. I'm gonna say next week will probably be the last week I'll have to keep going because people still sending stuff even though they seen the delivery date said it's gonna arrive after Christmas. So I'm gonna do all of that before I eat and then I'm gonna just do what it do. So this is my DoorDash that just got delivered. I have rice and peas, curry chicken, and of course the cabbages. I'm gonna eat this and feed this little girl over here trying to mess with the packages again. And excuse her hair, I cannot find her bonnet. It has to be around here somewhere. I'm just not sure where but like I said but like I said I did give her a bath wash her hair moisturized it and 
finna warm this food up. Yeah, I went ahead and opened some of these boxes because, again, some people sent stuff for me as well. And this was something I was sent. These are these nice little furry slipper slides that I'm pretty sure you guys have seen before. They look so comfy. And I'm actually thinking about wearing these on Christmas Day because if you know, you can wear these inside and outside. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. And just finger crossed that it doesn't rain. But yeah, super cute. So y'all, I'm settled. Just got back from the mail room. And I only had like maybe four small packages and then one of them it was a PR package. And now I'm finally sitting down chilling and I'm gonna get to show you guys what all I got my nephews. But first I thought it would be fun to give Dakota at least one gift. And it's not even big, but um, she's just getting into a lot of stuff and tearing up books on my shelf, like the papers out of the books. And just playing with a lot of stuff she ain't got a business playing with. So I'm finna give her this little watch right here because she loved playing with my Apple Watch. So I made sure to add this to her Amazon list and I'm about to give it to her just to see how she's gonna react. You wanna play with everything else. Look, my mommy got you. Ooh, what's that? What's that, Booker? You got you a watch. It make noise, Booker. It make noise. Put it on your wrist. Let mommy put it on your wrist. Look. Yeah, put it on your hand. Put it in your hand, Booker. There you go. Oh, Lord, she didn't take it back out, y'all. <laughs> so you gonna eat on that watch like you eat on mommy's. Look. Ooh. You like it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now go play with it. Go have some fun and leave my other stuff alone now. You got your little toy now. All right. So while she's playing with that, let me get situated. So as I stated, <laughs> oh, Lord. You want to be with mommy or you going to play them? Anyway, yeah, let me get to showing you guys what all I got my nephew. As you can see, this big old bag from H&M got delivered. This is everything I got them. So I'll start with my oldest nephew first and then just work my way down to my youngest nephew. So my oldest nephew name is Caleb and he is a big fan of Sonic the Hedgehog. So I gifted him this Sonic hoodie. And this is just something he could probably wear to school. And I know my sister like to dress them in Nike, Jordans, or whatever. So <laughs> I hope she okay with this. But at the end of the day, of course, it is for my nephews. But I know she probably wouldn't care or whatever. As long as they're happy. And I know he would definitely be excited to wear this. And then I also got him a t-shirt that also has Sonic on it. So yeah, I know he'll really like that. So he can go brag to his friends. Look what my TT got me. And he gonna get you biting on his stuff. I'm sorry, Caleb, if you watching this. Your little cousin over here. I think she puts a bite on everything because she got two teeth. All right, moving on to my second nephew. His name is Khalil. He's five years old and he is a big fan of Spider-Man. So I bought him this Spider-Man hoodie. And this is just something also he can wear to school. And then besides a sweater, y'all, they really didn't have that many cute outfits for his age on there. Or if they did, it was like real expensive and I was on a budget. So I just try to stick to the Spider-Man theme and the other thing I got him. And I try to get all my nephews at least two things. So the other thing I got Khalil was this Spider-Man umbrella. <laughs> Some of y'all might be like, why give him an umbrella? Well, I'm just thinking about it from my point of view. I feel like if I was a kid and somebody was to give me an umbrella and a character I was obsessed with, I would really appreciate it. And I think he's gonna like this. I hope his uh, I hope his brothers don't get jealous. But I can see Khalil now, just wait for it to rain. So yeah, I got him two Spidey things. My third nephew, KJ, which is the youngest of my sister three boys. I got him this jogger set. He'll be starting school in January. He's four, he'll be five, July 12th. So being that he starts school in January, of course it's still winter time, it's gonna be cold. So he probably won't be able to wear this until the springtime. So I'm hoping he can still fit this by then. <laughs> 
but he's obsessed with Spider-Man as well, but also the Incredible Hulk and, and whatever else Marvel characters they have out there. And then the last thing I got home was just a plain pair of red joggers. And then lastly, for my nephew Tatum, who is my oldest brother, only child, and you guys seen him in my vlog, of course. Six weeks apart from Dakota. And he is obsessed with Mickey Mouse, who is currently on TV right now. So I end up getting him a Mickey Mouse friend sweatshirt and it has all the characters on there. And then with this, I've seen the cutest overall as well. And I was like, yo, that would pair up so nicely. So I got him this color blue to match the blue on the shirt. Nephew be in daycare, so nephew finna be swagging on the other kids. And the thing I like about this overall is that you can unbutton it. So if his parents wanted him to get a little bit more swaggy feel, they can easily leave the one shoulder out and just have that pop a graphic showing. But other than that, these two can definitely go with other things as well. They don't necessarily have to go together, but I thought it was cute together, so. And him and Dakota wear the same size now, nine to 12. But y'all, this looks definitely bigger than a 12 month to me. And although he is six weeks younger than Dakota, he is heavier than her. Definitely more chunkier. And I think with him being a boy, it has something to do with it because Dakota is super light. Oh, and also I did go ahead and get two gift cards for the person I am Secret Santa for. And I might as well go ahead and tell who it is because they'll been and had these before this video even comes out. But I'm the Secret Santa to my sister my oldest and only sister. And on the Draw Names app that we had, she put that she wanted a Amazon and a Target gift card. But yeah, y'all, of course, with the gifts come gift bags. So I bought each of my nephews their own separate bag from Dollar Tree, from the Dollar Tree, cause you know, they a dollar. So I'm about to pick out who I want, which one to go to, and then, Start packing it up. I wish that every day of the year could have the packing my nephew bags. I have Caleb's, Khalil, Tatum's, and KJ's. I have some leftover wrapping paper that honestly I might just try to put another sheet in each bag because I'm trying to get rid of these. They didn't even have knife or better options than this little confetti looking one. I was hoping they had like just regular plain green or, or red, you know, given the Christmas color season, but they didn't. They had more so pink, purple, yellow. And I'm like, well, they're boys. So I'm gonna just stick to something as simple as this. But who cares? It's just paper, but. <laughs> but yeah, so that's it for far as today's vlog. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. And there is a lot of things going on that day. So for the rest of the night, I'm about to chill. Well, actually, I'm about to clean up, then chill while I eat on my little 90 calorie yogurt bar. <laughs> Cause I got a taste of something sweet. And then, yeah, I'm gonna just catch y'all in the morning. All right, y'all, so hair is looking good. Check. Me and Dakota are about to head out, but before we do, I wanted to show you guys our PJs. Every Christmas Eve, my family has a tradition now where we have a PJ party as well as brunch. So we're gonna leave here and go to my brother's house because they're hosting it this year. But before I get there, I just wanted to show you guys our PJs. And this is Dakota's. And I did her hair as well. <laughs> and we do have our names on ours and she just has Dakota's first Christmas on hers and then we also have butt pockets with our name as well so I just wanted to show you guys yeah you excited Booker? you looking like mommy it's just another day of course get on them so yeah we're gonna head out go over there meet with the fam eat and then we'll check in no. you and Dakota talk <laughs>
Easy. Easy. What's up, gang? What's up, y'all? So, me and Dakota have arrived home, and as of right now, I'm waiting on her dad because he's gonna be coming here Saturday night because, of course, he wants to wake up to be able to get Dakota's reaction in the morning for her first Christmas and for her. We're just so excited for her to see everything she has, even though she's a baby, y'all, and y'all know how easily distracted they can be. So, it's gonna be funny watching her go from one thing to another to the another to the next. As you guys can see in the back, I got some serious cleaning up to do. Here are some of the boxes that already been open. And then I still have these leftover boxes and packages behind me. So that's gonna be our goal tonight is to get through all of these. And then plus he's bringing some stuff over. So I don't know if I should just clean up now or honestly, I might just wait, knock it all out at once. But also while I have you here, again, tomorrow's Christmas. And of course, with Christmas comes gifts as well as food. So everybody is bringing a dish on tomorrow and they had your girl bring in candy yams. I had a vlog for Thanksgiving. It was a really short vlog. I didn't even bother posting it. But just know, your girl had to cook yams for the first time on Thanksgiving dinner. And when they asked me to do it, that's how I knew. Oh, I'm grown, grown now. Never in my life have I been asked to bring a dish. <laughs> so apparently they really enjoyed the Kenny Am, so they asked me to do it again. So over here I have like 10 big things of sweet potatoes that I gotta prep. So I'm gonna try to prep and maybe cut them tonight, slice them up, and then tomorrow I can just go ahead and just cook them while they're fresh. So yeah, that is what's on my agenda tonight. Cut it in the back. This girl don't never go to sleep. Does she even know what sleep is? Her cousin Tatum is already knocked out right now. Like, nephew went to sleep at 7.30. It's going on 9.30. This girl don't usually go to bed till I go to bed. But I got something for her tonight. I'm gonna get her a good old bottle, might feed her again. And then she better go to bed because I low key don't want her seeing everything, even though she's not gonna remember this moment. But that is the purpose of me vlogging. So she can look back and say, wow, that was me. I did all that, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, vlogging for memories. But while I'm waiting on her dad, honestly, I might go ahead and just start prepping these potatoes now. So let's just start on something. <music> freshly washed about to put these in the refrigerator do my skincare routine eat some applesauce and then y'all i'm going to bed i'm so tired right now and this little girl oh y'all can't see because she want to play with boxes 
it's still up and busy moving around and it's already 1205 merry christmas everybody because <laughs> i definitely was not watching the clock but yeah she's definitely gonna go to bed her dad wasn't able to make it because he said his car is having some issues so i guess we'll just be seeing him in the morning and i'm hoping and praying that i can get up early enough to where she still sleeps so i can go ahead and break down and take everything out of these boxes because y'all i'm not in the mood right now to be doing that because i'm so sleepy but yeah until the sun comes out i will talk to you guys in the morning Good morning all right y'all i'm gonna try to be extremely quiet while dakota is still asleep but just so you guys know i've been up since like 5 30 not even on purpose i just had to go use the restroom but it's a good thing i did because it took forever to go ahead and try to get everything out the boxes and have them ready for her so with that being said from 5 30 it's now 8 30 so your girl been up three hours not to mention i totally forgot that some toys need to be put together some of them may need batteries in it so yeah it was a lot but while i'm still up because i'm going back to bed after this i was like let me go ahead and just show you guys how i got set up and this is what it's looking like i do not have a christmas tree this year so with that being said, I just went ahead and took all the toys out and put them in the middle of the floor and also removed my rug that was in the center. It's now in the kitchen for now. So yeah, so yeah, just getting into it. We have her Sesame Street pals here, Grover, Elmo, and Cookie Monster. She has two of these, what are these, like buggies or something? Anyway, yeah, she has two of these. One right here, looks like a little bear. And then she has this one that you guys seen in one of my vlogs before. I just never took it out. Totally forgot to, honestly. So we're just gonna count that as a Christmas gift. <laughs> and then we have some building blocks. They're real soft, so I know she'll be teething on those. We have this cubicle here. Some more building blocks. Have her a microphone, a remote, because she stay touch of mind. And then over here, we have a set of keys because she also stays touching mine. <laughs> then moving up, we have another cubicle with like different things she can do on it. And then behind that, we have like a stand up equipment that she can stand on. And this is just, I have a lot of options on it, including like a little book she can look at. Or we have like a Wheel of Fortune type thing where she can just spin this or whatever. And then we got this little cow thing whatever it does got her some books because she stayed pulling all the books out over here knowing she can't read so at least these one makes noises and then over here we have like a little flashlight and i will turn it on and demonstrate it for y'all but oh child this is probably the quietest i've ever had to be in my life making sure that these toys don't make noise while she was asleep. <laughs> but this one over here wasn't doing no justice. Came out the box talking. This is her remote control. Cause sometime when her daddy comes over here, he'll sometime bring his PS4. And she always is trying to attack and take his controller. <laughs> so I just got her her own. And then we got her friend Bluey back here. This is her home girl. And then over here, I feel like she's gonna love the most. It's a tamarind place. Me and Dakota, we be taking it to church. So that's that. And then I also have Elmo right there, but that is to be hooked up onto her car seat, which I left in the car because we got home late last night. But yeah, I'm still gonna put that on there just so she can have something to play with while we taking rides. And lastly, well not lastly, I got her this tent. And no, the balls did not come with it, which was crazy. So the balls, do, you have to buy the balls separately. But yeah, I figured she would like that. And then babies like balls. I think they would. And she never had a set of balls. So I just know she's going to have a time up in there as well. And then over here, these are some extra toys that does not come with batteries. Either they don't come with batteries or I just feel like some of them have small pieces in it that she's definitely not ready for it because, again, Dakota likes to put things in her mouth. And if you're wondering what this is, this is like a, a bottle, <laughs> a play bottle that she can, like, put her mouth on and stuff. Oh, I didn't even realize it's, like, 
silicone up here. So yeah, I might just have to put one in there. That's, that'll be good for her to be teething with too. And then again, she might get real mad when she find out it ain't no real bottle, ain't no milk coming out. But Oh, well. And then lastly, you know, my baby had to get her right with the clothes section. Not going to go too much into details, but just know she has a lot of winter stuff, a lot of sweaters. Got a couple beanies back there, some jeans, because she does not have jeans. All she has is like leggings and jeggings. And then some more leggings with the matching onesies. You know, a dress, da 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 da, -da two piece sets. And then on top here, we have some church shoes. And then the things that can't be worn, besides the hair bows up here as well. We have a bath visor up here that they put on their head when I wash her hair so the water won't get in her eyes. And then right beside it is a crib sheet for me to finally put in her crib. And then this little butterfly thing in the middle is like a backpack for them because Dakota is pulling up as I stated before. And honestly, she's been at the point now to where she's pulling up and know how to stand on her two feet for a few seconds. So just to keep her from falling behind, that is what that is for if she falls behind her head is protected. And then as far as all the other stuff, it's just socks, a crib bumper, and some knee protectors for when she is crawling on the floor. Hey y'all, just giving y'all another spin around the room. This is what it's looking like. And I am so excited for her to wake up. Oh, by the way, that thing over there beside Ammo, the pink thing, that is her toy box. Because listen, what y'all see right here, Ain't finna be like this 24 seven, okay? <laughs> so yeah, definitely glad to have gotten that because that's gonna be so useful. Yeah, like I said, I'm about to try to go ahead and take me a nap because your girl is tired and I still got a lot of stuff to do today. Once we do get situated and be up and alert, my family is getting together at three today and it's already 8.35 almost going on. Nine o'clock, so oh, yeah. All right, y'all, next clip. You'll be seeing Coda in here, not knowing what to do first. <laughs> Come on, Coda. Ooh. I don't know why I want to cry. <laughs> Yeah, y'all know where to go first. We got your friends up there. Why are you looking at that? <laughs> y'all, she is like, whoa, I do not know where to go to first. Now, I left that bonnet on for a reason, Dad. <laughs> I need to touch up her edges. Oh, I have my Uh-uh, she got one toy. That's her boyfriend right there, y'all. Of course, she got to taste test them first. Yeah. You can build you some blocks, girl. Gotta make sure it's good quality. That'd be good for your gums, boo-boo. <laughs> she know they itch, the freak. <laughs> Nah, you better not dare look, touch my TV stand. Again, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, look, check this out. Oh, I gotta oh, yeah, turn them yeah. on.
is looking cute and in the holiday spirit with this red lip. I got on a cute shirt that goes with the theme of what my daughter has on. You guys will see her outfit as well. But yeah, y'all, I'm currently on the way to my sister's house for this Christmas gathering where all of our family members are going to be meeting up, exchanging gifts, reveal our secret Santa, watch the kids play, we're going to eat, and we're just going to have fun. And I'm so excited and so late, <laughs> but I'm literally like finna turn on her road like in about 10 seconds. So yeah, I will catch you guys up. Like I said, I have their gift bags in the back. Dakota is in the back. I know she's still probably asleep, but she would definitely wake up when she noticed the car quit moving. So see you when we get inside. Up something. you Here you go, Khalil. Right here. Khalil. Open this. Um, Dakota Ray. Right. Okay, because she's slick. Uh, this one, uh, that's, that's Khalil. Look what else you got, Khalil. Oh, yeah, he got the same thing. That's what I'm saying. Look at her. Uh, 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 the code. The code. Ooh, child. <laughs> come on, come on. KJ, I'll take a bet, KJ. <laughs> You don't want it. All right, I'll give my money back. Go ahead, give it to her. I don't know. <laughs> and then this is Tatum. Tatum. Here, Tatum. Come get your stuff. <laughs> 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 hey, you come to church, Pastor Love that. <laughs> yeah. Dakota got one too. <laughs> Dakota, you supposed to be playing with toys. <laughs> So me and Dakota made it home. She is so blessed to have all of these gifts. And quite honestly, 
my house looks like a toy store right now but it's okay it's all good as long as she's playing with them i'm about to go ahead and put on her night clothes get unready myself i didn't feel much at our gathering because again i'm that type of person who lives in the moment so i didn't get the clips of us revealing our secret santa but again you guys know i had my sister and the person who had me was my little brother and he did give me my gift cards that i wanted from dsw because your girl needs some new kicks some new boots just trying to get right for the winter season but he also gifted me with toilet tissue trash bags and in a case of kleenex tissues and i was just like okay <laughs> but you know that's convenient that's something i can use whenever it's something you can't get enough of something you always have to restock up on so i'm still thankful that he was able to get me that so yeah i'm just going to end the vlog here i thank you guys so much for watching and just tuning in to dakota's first christmas it was definitely a success and again i thank each and every one of you who volunteered to send her things we are definitely so grateful next up is my baby's first birthday my birthday is exactly one month from now so yeah more to come so in the meantime you guys be easy be breezy if this is the last video i post before the new year take care and stay blessed love y'all bye